Hello, it is Sunday, September 17th. I'm out walking around Coal Valley right now. I went to pick up a prescription, but it's not ready in time. So I think I might just walk back home and get it later. But I'm about to walk through this cute, like main strip of Coal Valley. And I think I'm gonna go to La Boulangerie. It's a bakery I've been to once before. There's one in Hayes Valley, but I haven't been to this one yet. And I'm in desperate need of a coffee. So that's item number one. Iced oat milk vanilla latte acquired. If you live in San Francisco and have been to La Boulangerie, I don't know if I'm saying that right, first of all, but second of all, why is a latte 742? Obscene. That should be illegal. That is probably the most expensive latte in the whole freaking city. Anyway, I digress. I'm walking towards Hate Street and it appears that there's some type of like market going on. There's some giant inflatable blow up structure that I'm walking towards, and I'm gonna show you guys. It's so cute, it looks like a outdoor market of some kind. Monday morning and I just finished my workout and did a shower and I'm finally getting to see the rainbows come through our living room. I have a crystal that hangs in the window and normally I'm not here long enough to see um, all of the rainbows retract so I'll show you guys. I just love the morning light. It casts all these little rainbows. My mom used to hang these in my house a bunch in like my childhood home and it's so pretty. I'm on my way to work. Yesterday was just a way longer, busier day than I thought. I thought it would be like a very lazy Sunday, but I woke up and recorded, edited and uploaded the podcast for this week, which was about Fort Collins where I went to college. And then I met up with my friend Cami and we were walking around the city and we met up with two of my other friends, Christy and Julia. And that was so fun. I wasn't like expecting to just like get together with so many friends. And then in, as a group effort, we all decided to go to Trader Joe's together, or I guess Julia, Christy, and I did, and then I dropped Julia off at home beforehand. And it was good because I got groceries and I just deeply did not want to go, and then went home and watched the morning show and talked to my sister. So it's a really good Sunday night. Um, I thought I'd insert some clips from Alamo Square Park right here. That's where I met up with all my friends. Um, looks out at like the city skyline and the painted ladies, one of my favorite parks. And then Cammie and I did some like window shopping on Divisa Darrow, which is like a main street that runs through San Francisco. And we found a shop kitty and she was so cute. She was very mean though. She didn't want to be pet. So that was disappointing, but it's one of the first shop cats in SF that I've met. So anyway, that was yesterday. Now it's today and I'm off to work. I really don't feel like going, but I did a workout this morning, like I said. And so at least I got that out of the way. Tomorrow night, I'm having a movie night with my friend Allison at my place. And then on Thursday night, my friend, my childhood friend comes, flies into SF and she's gonna stay with me through Sunday. So I'm really excited for that and thought I could vlog that. Got my smoothie, it's very green today. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I hope you guys are having a good start to your day whenever you're watching this. It is way later. I think it's like almost 3.30 in the afternoon. And today has just been a weird day. Woke up tired and the patient 
like load for the day was initially six patients, then it dropped down to five, and then it ended up working out that I took four and my mentor took the last one, so now I'm out for a walk. <laughs> During the middle of my break, I sent a package to my friend, which I think I recorded a little of. I've just been feeling a little nostalgic. I think it's because I'm planning a trip to Colorado to go visit my dad who was going through treatment for prostate cancer and just texting with him about it just made me, you know, feel very emotional because it reminds me of my mom and watching her go through chemotherapy. So anyway, I think I'm just anxious to make a visit out to Colorado. And I'm kind of thinking about planning a couple days where I could go back to Fort Collins and see some of my friends. I just think that'd be really nice and like a good use of my time off instead of like a rushed weekend trip where I only get two days with my dad. I'm like, oh, I'd rather spend more time there. And I really want to hike the Manitou Incline. It's like a giant like staircase challenge in Manitou Springs, which is just like outside of Colorado Springs. So anyway, that's kind of been on my mind. Otherwise it was a good day at work, but I'm excited to go home and just be in my underwear and sit on the couch. Okay, so I think I've mentioned before that I work in Larkspur and Novato, which is north of San Francisco. And downtown Novato is so cute. Like it's just a little strip of all these little boutiques, a lot of like cafes and shops. And it is very delightful. A lot of them unfortunately are closed. <laughs> they all close by like four or five. So like not that many places are open and I don't have a shirt on, so I probably wouldn't go in anyway, but so cute. Okay, also something that is mind blowing to me. I don't know if you'll be able to see the color so clear, but there are these trees in California that are like pink and orange. And I'm like, what are you? The foliage here is incredible. I know it looks a bit brown out there, but all the different types of wildlife are like so new to me. It's after work and super randomly, I've decided to go to Lululemon and buy myself a scuba hoodie. Why? Because I've wanted one for five years and I just never have the gumption to do it, but I have the sweat collective discount because I used to do like personal training and group fitness stuff. And I just really want a zip up jacket that I can throw on every time I go for a walk in San Francisco because it's always foggy. It's always 58 degrees, like just without fail. It's always like kind of chilly and you want a jacket. And I have all these crew neck sweatshirts, but none of them have hoodies. And the scuba hoodie has a hoodie. So that's where we're going today. <laughs> I'll show you guys which one I get. I'm obsessed. Obsessed. I got my scuba hoodie. I got the medium large one, so it's a little big on me, but I like it. It feels cozy. I'm about to meet my friend Julia for a little walk. And me. <laughs> Good time for a pee. Oh, that's so pretty. What is that? Is that <laughs> no, that's um, that's Sutro uh, Forest. So that's under the big cell tower. Where? <laughs> Just got back from the walk with my friend Julia, and I've decided I'm not going to shut up about this scuba hoodie for the rest of 2023. So. Sorry about that. Um, for dinner, I'm gonna do a little breakfast for dinner moment. I have an avocado. I have some whole wheat English muffins. So I'm gonna toast one of those, do some avocado toast. And then I'm also gonna make some scrambled eggs. And yeah, got my olive oil going. It struck me earlier today that I think for me personally, vlogging is something I get into when I'm alone to keep myself company because it's just talking to yourself recorded. Like, oh, that's why I do that. <laughs> anyway, not gonna stop, so. Good morning, everyone. Oh, it's probably not morning when you're watching this, but it's 5.38, it's Tuesday, and I'm up. I am gonna journal. Most mornings when I wake up, I try to come out here in the living room and either journal or like put on a YouTube video. I have a bunch of mosquito bites right now, so I'm very, very itchy. This is my regular journal where I just journal about like my thoughts and feelings. And then this is my planner that I recently got. I'll put a link for it in the description. I really like it because 
you like create your own um, like months, I guess, if you will. There it says my name. So you have the whole month, which looks like this, which I had to write in all these dates, but it's fine. And then after that, you have like the weeks and I get to put different things at the top, which I have like workouts and special events, hydration, all that good stuff. Most mornings I just typically sit here and try to write about what happened yesterday and what I'm intending to do today, like my goals. So to show you guys yesterday, my workout, I did a 30 minute full body in the morning and then I took a really long walk at work. At work, I ran stress echoes, special events. I went for a walk with my friend Julia. And then I also try to track my hydration if I do anything for the podcast or vlog errands and dinner so i always try to drink two of my 40 ounce my little white bottle and then i vlogged it didn't work on the podcast i sent that box to my friend kate during my lunch break and then dinner was eggs with avocado toast so yeah that's kind of what i like to plan about each week and i find that it really keeps me on track like i'm obsessed with this um planner and i'm really really glad i got it on a separate note like I said, it's Tuesday, and yesterday I just woke up and didn't feel well rested. Like, I got all these mosquito bites. So Sunday night, I was really itchy in my sleep, which evidently I'm still itchy today. But last night, I went to bed at 8.45. I got back from the walk with Julia, and I had had this, like, low-grade headache ever since I left work, which I don't really get headaches that often. But I was like, oh my god, the light is killing me. I, like, ate dinner watched an episode of the morning show and I was like I gotta lay down and I woke up just now this morning at 5 30 and I'm like wow what is that like it's like nine hours of sleep which is a lot for me so I'm glad I did it but geez louise talk about needing some rest I think I'm gonna make coffee and work out and maybe I'll end off the vlog this morning just because I feel like I've vlogged a lot my favorite cold brew is Trader Joe's cold brew <laughs> and Literally, all I do is this and two ice cubes, specifically two, and then two tablespoons of creamer, which I don't need that much creamer. Is that enough? That's enough. Just not into the taste of coffee enough to want it like plain and like black. I need something to sweeten it up. So I think deep down I am into it just for the sugar. Sometime soon, I really want to try the like nut pod creamer as gross as those sound because i like oat milk this is the french vanilla coffee creamer from trader joe's i like this one a lot but i prefer the brown sugar oat milk uh creamer from trader joe's so next stop is the nut pod creamer and this is my morning routine every day 5 30 to 6 a.m i'm so happy one thing about me is if I am waking up this early, I might not be productive. I might not journal and I might not work out, but I will have a really weird walking video on the TV. Today, we're walking through Boston Public Garden and Boston Common. I don't know, something about this just soothes the heck out of me. I think because I can hear the rain. God, I love it. I'm gonna end off the vlog here. I'm actually at work. I'm still in my hoodie. I'm never taking it off. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I'm excited to um, make another video for this weekend when my friend Jenny comes. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one.